Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. The goal of this show is to help you discover new coffee that, number one, tastes great, is delicious, and drinkable. Number two, is reasonably priced, and number three, is readily available. So I'm excited for round three of this coffee competition. Today um, I'm trying two new coffees. Um, if you've been following along, we've got the Bracketology of Coffee going on. And today we have a coffee that I found on Amazon called Homebody. It is by Couples Coffee Company. Get a good shot of it there. There we go. Versus Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. Big name in coffee. They've got a light roast breakfast blend. There we go. And so I'm excited. It's Friday. I'm leaving for Vegas on Sunday. So let's get this thing going. Um, I'm going to start by giving you a little bit of information about the two coffees. And then we're going to taste them once uh, as a black coffee out of the French press. And then I'm going to taste them again with a little bit of half and half added, which tends to change the flavor up a little bit. So the scoring system will be on a scale of 0 to 100. So let's get, uh, let's get started here. So um, this Homebody Couples Coffee Company, uh, the origin is unknown, which is a little bit weird. Um, and also it is a flavored coffee which I didn't know when I bought it, but uh, they get really good Amazon reviews. Um, it's a medium roast. I have ranked it number two in my brackets because of their uh, really good scores on Amazon. So that will be the, um, the powerhouse in this competition as they're ranked number two. And this will be the underdog uh, breakfast blend by Green Mountain Coffee. The origin is Central America and Indonesia. Um, this is a light roast, and the bracket rank is number seven. They didn't score that well on the Amazon reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and press these coffees. The way I do it is uh, in a French press, I do one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get these coffees pressed and poured, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back to taste some coffee. If you know uh, a little bit about the background of how this competition got started is that um, I realized that in the mornings, the coffee that I continue to drink over and over tends to lose its flavor. And so I did a little bit of research and um, our taste buds kind of become numb to tasting the same thing over and over. I found out through uh, blogs that a lot of people have the same problem. They just can't taste their coffee anymore. I actually did a video about that. So, um, that's the reason for this is uh, we want to discover some new coffees and um, I'm not claiming to be a super taster. 25% um, of the population is thought to be a super taster. I consider myself an average taster or normal taster. I'm just looking for a coffee that I enjoy, something that's drinkable, something with a pleasing after, after, uh, aftertaste. And um, the professional coffee tasters are the super tasters. They, they call it cupping. It's very... Um, uh, strict guidelines. Um, that's not what we're doing here today. We are just simply doing a coffee competition. I've got eight coffees. There's going to be one winner. This is round three and uh, let's get this thing started. I'm going to put some on-screen coffee tips for you. I think a lot of people, uh, they use coffee makers that haven't been cleaned in five years and they wonder why their coffee tastes horrible. So that's why I use a French press because it's very easy to clean. So take a look at those coffee tips while we're going along. But um, let's get going. So um, homebody. Couples Coffee Company. They get really good reviews. Um, they don't um, describe what the origin of the coffee beans are, which is unusual. Um, it's a flavored coffee, and they don't really make that very well known, which is unusual. And I don't really care for flavored coffees, but um, they get really good reviews. So let's, uh, I'll taste it twice. The first time, I just want to kind of get an, an overview of the coffee, and then the second taste, I'll score it, 
and then we'll go to round two where I add some half and half. So here we go. This is Couples uh, Coffee Homebody. You can definitely taste the flavoring in there. And I think in round two, that's really going to shine because flavored coffee tends to be really good when you add a little bit of a half and half to it. Um, so I'm not going to cleanse my palate. 97% of coffee is water. I've read online that you don't necessarily need to cleanse your palate between tastes. Last round, I did it without cleansing my palate, and it worked out just fine. So um, This is the breakfast blend uh, by Green Mountain Coffee. It is a light roast, which I tend to uh, favor. Um, light roast or medium roast is what I like. I don't care a lot for the dark roast, but uh, breakfast blend by Green Mountain. Let's see what this tastes like. That one's really good. Immediately smelling it, um, I could tell it. It's got some different beans in it. Maybe the Indonesian beans that I'm not familiar with. And like I said, if I was a super taster, I'd be able to point out the specific flavors um, but all I, all I know is it's just something I've never tasted before I really like that as well so let's go ahead and score these coffees this is the homebody couples coffee company so I've got to admit um, I like that a lot more than I thought I would um, a lot of flavored coffees tend to taste very fake and very artificial um, but this actually doesn't taste too bad it reminds me of a coffee I used to carry at my coffee shop back in the day um, that being said I probably would not buy this one um, but I, I will give it an 82 in the first half and in the coffee world anything over an 80 is considered uh, a really good kind of the cream of the crop um, now for the breakfast blend from Green Mountain The smell is something I have just never, um, I'm not familiar with at all. It smells really good though. The nice thing about a, a breakfast blend instead of a, as opposed to a single origin coffee is they can take the best uh, characteristics from certain um, different beans and, and blend it similar to a, of a wine blend. And so really with a breakfast bun, they're just looking for something that's very drinkable. Um, and I've been talking so much that I forgot what I was going to score it at. So let me get another taste. <laughs> so to me, the smell is totally different from the taste. Um, I like the smell and the taste. I like the smell just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to give that one an 86. So 82 for Couples Coffee, 86 for Green Mountain. I'm going to go add, typically I do about an ounce and a half of cream. So I started out with 10 ounces of coffee. I did two tablespoons of coffee grounds. Some of the coffee gets absorbed into the grounds. Um, so I got about a half a cup of coffee here left. And I'm going to add about an ounce and a half of cream. We'll be right back for round two. Don't go anywhere. We are back for second half of scoring of this coffee tasting. I add a little bit of half and half. And um, one thing I thought of about the flavored coffee is that uh, if you do use flavored coffee, the the flavoring, the way they do it is they actually add a, like a syrup kind of to the outside of the beans after the beans have been roasted. So anytime you use a flavored coffee, that flavoring will tend to stick around in your coffee maker or wherever you are storing the beans. Um, just something to be aware of if you're switching from like a cherry coffee to a hazelnut coffee or vanilla coffee to a hazelnut coffee you'll want to wash your uh, or clean your coffee maker between um, cycles um, just so the flavor isn't tainted but let's get started so this is uh this one here <clears throat> couples coffee it's called homebody we discovered that it's a flavored coffee i added a little bit of half and half let's give it a taste So 
so the cream has kind of mellowed out the flavoring on that just a little bit. Um, not sure how that's going to factor into the scoring, but let's give this uh, breakfast blend a taste. The Green Mountain breakfast blend. Light roast. There we go. So they're both really good coffees. Um, like I said, when I get up in the morning, I like to um, have something to look forward to. I get excited about my coffee. I get excited about my breakfast. All that stuff kind of gets the day going. So, all right, I'm going to taste these again and give them a score. Like I said, the half and half does enhance that flavor just a little bit. Um, I mean, it's very drinkable. It's got a decent aftertaste. Um, I just prefer the, the true coffee flavor versus a, an artificial flavoring. So uh, maybe this is more of a personal preference on the scoring, but um, uh, I'm going to give this an 84 in the second half. And now for the breakfast blend. You gotta try this Green Mountain Breakfast Blend. This smell is amazing. The half and half has really enhanced that um, surprisingly. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's one of my favorites throughout the competition so far actually. So um, I'm gonna give that a 91. So, let's tally these scores, and we will be back to declare a winner. Thanks for watching. All right, let's declare a winner in this competition here. So, <clears throat> Couples Coffee Homebody, they scored an 82 in the first half, 84 in the second half for a total of 166. And Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, their breakfast blend, they scored 86 in the first half, 91 in the second half, for a total of 177. We have declared a winner in this round three competition, and it is Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. So we'll be back next week for round four, and then we get into the uh, next uh, level of brackets, which would be, we'll call it round five and round six. It'll be the semifinals. Um, and then we will have the championship. So uh, don't, um, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget about the upcoming rounds. We'll see who is the uh, winner in this uh, bracket of eight. Thanks for watching the Bracketology of Coffee. We'll see you next time.